Skylanders Sparrow's Adventure was a Skylanders game that started it all. And it has the longest story mode of any Skylanders game, with a whopping 22 different levels. And since this was the first Skylanders game, most of the levels had their own music, and pretty much all of them looked very nice and pretty original. And I knew this video would be hard to make, but today I'm going to be ranking all of the Sparrow's Adventure levels from worst to best. I will be ranking these levels on how fun they are, how original they are, and how much I just liked it in general. And also, I will not be counting the expansion pack levels because I only have one of them and I can't really rank it if I haven't played it. So with no further ado, let's get right into it. I am not a creepy crawly fan and crawling catacombs is absolutely swarmed with spiders. They're so freaky looking and they crawl around and they bite you and stuff. And look at this one, it's so giant! Jesus! Sky Schooner Docks is a really boring level and I hated every second of it. I'm just being brutally honest here guys. And also, just because it's one of the first levels doesn't mean it should be so easy that I can do it blindfolded. I don't know why they called the second level in the game Perilous Pastures. I mean, it's obviously going to be really easy. And also, I don't hate this level, but it's not very exciting. Goo Factory is another level that I don't hate, but it's really bland. I didn't enjoy this one and it's not very memorable. If you ever wanted a Skylanders level that's in the middle of a war, well, here you go. I have to admit, the enemies are a little bit harder in this level, which is quite nice because Sparrow's Adventure is quite easy. But apart from that, it's basically the same as the Goo Factory. Up next is the Crystal Eye Castle, and I quite like this one because it introduces the Cyclops, which are a pretty popular type of enemy in Skylanders, and also far too easy. Just far too easy. This is probably an unpopular opinion, but I didn't really enjoy the Darkwater Cove. It kind of felt like a chore to complete. There's not much to say about the Molkin Mine. It's kind of in the middle for me. I guess you could say I don't mind it. The same thing goes for the Lava Leaks Railway, but I love how halfway through the level, you reach a sort of fiery cavern, which is covered in lava. You all know I'm a fan of the undead, which is why I like Creepy Citadel, and it's got a lot less spiders, which is definitely a pro for me. Next up is Stone Town. It's a decent looking level, with decent music, and it's got a pretty cool rock monster boss battle. Shattered Island is the first ever Skylanders level, but being the first level can only get you so far which is why I put it on the halfway mark for this list. The Falling Forest is a pretty cool level, and you guessed it, it's set in a forest, but the trolls are using these giant chainsaw machines to cut down the trees. And is it just me, or do these chainsaw things look a little bit familiar from another Skylanders game? Up next is the Troll Warehouse, and I loved this level quite a lot because it was the first proper challenge for me in the game which was so nice because the game felt far too easy. Treetop Terrace is probably one of the most memorable Skylander levels to this day and it has a very popular tune as well. Up next is Archean Armory which once again has some very lovely music and it's pretty cool to see all those giant robots in the distance. And of course Oil Spell Island is going to be this lowdown on the list just because I love it so much. It's got really great looks and really great music and it's the first level to introduce the trolls who are a pretty massive part of Skylanders, let's be honest. And now we're on to Stormy Stronghold. This is just such a nice looking level and the fact that you can walk around and see the tornado in the distance, oh it's so cool. Not only does Quicksilver Vault have a really cool name but it's also just a cool level in general. I wish every level was as detailed as this one because man it looks awesome. Leviathan Lagoon. What a laid back level. I mean, apart from when you fight Chaos, which is the first ever boss battle in a Skylanders game by the way. Oh yeah, and there's also a giant fish that tries to eat you if you get too close. Actually, this level isn't really that laid back is it? I think you all knew that Lair of Chaos would be pretty low down on the list. Which, you guessed right, because it is. But let's be honest, the only reason this level is good is because of the boss fight. I mean, it's the final boss fight of the first game, and it's the best final boss fight of all time. 
You have to fight a four-headed dragon, you have to fight Chaos at the same time, and you have to fight evil versions of yourself. I mean, it's cool, but why? And now, my number one favourite level in Skylander Sparrow's Adventure is... The Cadaverous Crypts. Do I really have to explain myself? I mean... Ooh.